Hey guys, welcome back. I'm me, DC Gunner, and today we're gonna review a this cell, La Lacqua. And this is the older version with the uh, 775 all moment. And uh, these days, I call this the better version because these days uh, they are putting the new moments, uh, which are I, I, they're okay. It's a chronograph. Uh, it's in-house chronograph technically, but uh, I don't like it and watchmakers do not like it. it has a lots of plastic parts and whatnot and uh, General I think the older style to sell with the uh, Sun 750 movement Vaju no-nonsense rugged movement uh, plenty of parts available is a better option and uh, When I see these watches I will always pick them up, but I picked up two watches actually today. I picked up Tech Horror and uh, I might become as well the AD for Tech Horror. Just, just want to show you the tag and then we will move on to the review. And uh, I like this uh, nice leather pouch. Here it comes with uh, manual, warranty cards, instructions and whatnot. But I like it overall. It's a nice quality. And uh, inside, um, what you're gonna guess, it's another Formula One. So, okay, it's another Formula One, and this is a quartz one. I have another one, I had one, I have, now I have two, and uh, I'm not gonna be like the rest of the reviewers, uh, the best praises on this watch. I bought that watch to sell because. Uh, I want to make money and you can make money on used tech wars. That's that's one thing You can definitely make money in used tech wars, but I just wanted to show you this is a quartz PC it retails around thousand bucks and uh, It's a good buy for 500 bucks whenever you, you see it on eBay or somewhere else You can get it. I got a bit under 500 so I will definitely make some profit there and uh, I have two. Uh, I keep one as a beater. It's a good quality watch. It has a nice bracelet. Uh, the the band is but a bit uh, lesser quality. On a Longi Andrew Conquest is better. And uh, other than that, it's a fantastic watch. 200 meter water resistant. Screw down crown. Nice bezel. Uh, nice bezel action. Also a very sporty watch. Uh, looks good on the wrist and it's been the first watch for so many of you guys that's incredible and uh, when you whenever someone wants to get a first nice Swiss watch they go for this and it's nothing wrong with it it's a great brand when you buy used and uh, even if you got decided to buy this one brand new uh, it's a good watch it's a good quality and it will serve you if you're a one watch guy don't need something fancy this is great so but uh we are not here to discuss tech horror because i already did a review of this watch so i'm gonna put it here to look nice uh i did a review of tech horror formula one and uh the review is just do a search on youtube edc gunner tech horror and you will find it and you can do the search for any brand i'm pretty sure i have a review so Moving on to the Tissot, I bought these two together from the same guy and uh, I was thinking uh, I'm gonna flick them fast, do a review because that's what I do. Uh, I don't I don't bullshit you around. I bought this watch because I like it, like it, like it and the sponsors paid it to me and then I sell it afterwards because I'm not wearing that watch. So. However, this is a rose gold. Uh, this saw the Lacqua with Sunset 5 and I thought this one I'm not gonna like it but I do like it and I'm seriously considering of keeping this one. Why I like it? Well, I like the rose gold and if this was yellow gold it would be ah uh, no but this rose gold and the gold and the black dial surprisingly works for me I don't know why uh, I know it's a crime to hate to have gold plating, but this is not a gold plated. The modern ones have uh, the chemical stuff, electrolysis or something like that. So they do it uh, chemically, just dip it into the water and it takes the color and it will not wear off as easily. But forget all, all that. I like the watch. Uh, I think this watch is very nice. 
let me just give you a quick measure uh, it's a big one it's 42 mils without the crown uh, wag width is 20 mils and uh, it tapers down the bracelet tapers down you can see this is the original bracelet it has a wear and tear on it so i'm gonna replace it but it has a nice buckle and the uh, butterfly style buckle that tapers down to 18 on the case back the bracelet uh, the band the leather band uh, wears off and that's why i always recommend buying watches on a steel bracelets and if you like it then you can replace it with a leather aftermarket band it will be much better idea so you can see the router on this moment has a little bit of a decorations the stripes uh, other than that it's a basic uh, of the shelf ETA movement but it sounds some 5 oh, much better again I I like it much more than the the days uh, chronograph versions from Tissot, Sertina and brands alike from the same umbrella company uh, and uh, yeah but this is older Le Locle. I reviewed uh, Le Locle with 300 just no complications but this one is much better is my opinion but i like crown graphs and this one's done tastefully i like the indices i like i pretty much like everything about it uh it's very nice strong pusher sign crown as this always does t uh octagonal pusher well they are not round this pusher so what kind of oval shape pushers and uh overall i love the watch I think on the used market, great buy. Let me just quickly give you a wrist shot. So on the used market, it's a great buy. I recommend to you, I see a lot of you guys buying Dan Henry quartz chronographs or something uh, of that stuff, that's nature. But if you're not afraid to buy a used watch, I got this one used, it's preserved, it works correctly, everything's fine. And any decent watchmaker can work on Samsung 5 so no issues there. I would wear this all day long uh, as opposed to something like Dan Henry or something. Those big promotions, you gotta take those with a pinch of salt. But yeah, uh, I love the watch. I love it more than I was expecting and more than I should. But uh, I don't know, who are you to tell me uh, what should I wear and... Uh, Sometimes we buy watches, we are all guilty of that, we buy watches that we are trying to impress strangers on the internet, on YouTube, and uh, we ended up we end up buying watches that we don't really like just to have it. And uh, this watch, I'm contemplating of keeping it, but I might sell it if good offer comes by. I'm, sell my I'm selling my watches to the dealers in bulk, so... I have no issues with that. I don't want to deal with, the, with the individual customers. They're just pain in the ass to watch guys. You know, I'm a watch guy. I'm a pain in the ass when I'm buying. And uh, most of you are. Uh, you want to check out. But working with dealers is been a good experience with me. You got to give them special prices. So they got to make money. But it, all, it ends up well. And uh, if I sell it, I'm going to try to... Uh, sell all my this formal ones and something like that and try to make some watch fund for a moon watch or something like that so yeah uh overall this is uh this is a very nice watch sapphire crystal uh this so is a brand that has a long history and uh i think that even if you're not watch guy this is a fantastic watch they make quartz version but if you are a watch guy and uh, you you can get these on eBay for around 400 bucks. I don't know, used. I haven't checked the prices, but you can check it. And even if you buy it brand new, uh, you are doing okay. I will try to find some Amazon links, put it in the description box, so you can check it out for yourself. And yeah, let me just check, show you the Tissot box. I always like this uh, Tissot boxes. The the older style to sell boxes and you have here a nice pillow and you have put the watch here and it's a nice presentation it's a Tissot sits like this and uh, over here which is really cool you have some literature you have some here, user's manual 
and what I like is this this so little uh, history book so the book about the factory uh, where it all began and uh, I really like this I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in my library so to have it and here you have some various to sell models you can check it out I did a review uh, of this one's nice check this out this is heritage 150th anniversary and I bet this is going for a pretty penny but I wouldn't mind having this one this one's just fantastic uh, some ugly watches also especially watches like this I am not a fan uh, but overall you can see some lots of these models so uh, t-touches and everything in between so yeah that's it i mean dc gunner signing out this was a local Tissot review uh and i gotta tell you i'm enjoying this watch a couple of years ago when i had my small collection of watches this would be my grail and uh, actually uh, a couple years ago i almost bought this one and i almost paid well close to retail uh it was still in on a bracelet they do come on a bracelet versions and i was thinking should i get it should i not and i couldn't make a deal but a couple years ago uh not so far along this this would be the best watch in my collection but times are changing you gotta evolve you gotta play and yeah that's it thank you for watching see you guys i love this one